following on from the previous video, let me have an, another good attempt at explaining why the um, why the area here is given by by this. Okay, why the area is given by this. So we were trying to work out the volume of this solid here, and we're going to sum up all the slices. So by the time by the time it gets to here, then it will give you this area here, and then we will continue summing up all the slices. By the time it gets to uh, to x equals b, it will be this slice here. So we're summing up all the slices from negative infinity to positive infinity. So, uh, so, so the volume of this thing here is given by this. It's given by this. So that's saying sum up all the areas from negative infinity to positive infinity. So sum up all the areas. But, but, but then we need to we need a way of expressing the area uh, for any given value of x. So let's say when x gets to x equals b here, we need a way of obtaining this area. Well, the way we the way we obtain this area is by by summing up everything. So we are now moving in the y direction. Okay, so so we are so so this here is in the y direction. So the area here, hang on. So so up here, up here, the volume is given by us summing up all the areas. But then but then we need we need to find out this area for for any for any given x. So hang on. So the the area here is 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 us summing up from negative infinity to um to positive infinity. So it's, the the area of this thing here is us summing up everything here. And, and remember, we are moving in the y direction. So that's why this area here uh, is in uh, in the y direction. And and for any given height, it would be this. And this this was the the bit I'm having trouble explaining. So um so for for so 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 um so remember we are we are summing up everything uh, and then we're moving in in the direction of y so it's really dy so that's why we've got this dy here but then for for any point along that any point along here let's say we want to find out this height let, let, let's say when x get, let, let's say this this slice here is when you re remember this is a plan view so when you cut it down here it will give you this thing here. But let, let's say you want to find out uh, the height at this random place. Let's say at this place here. What is the height at this place here? Now, looking back at the solid here, hang on. Looking back at the solid here, remember we are revolving this 360. So, so it will give us this 3D solid. If you get a knife and cut it along here, along the, the, uh, the y axis, it will give you this. It will give you it will give you the biggest possible uh, slice here, which is in the form of e minus y squared. If you cut, if you if you look at this solid here, if you cut it along the x-axis, it will give you the biggest possible uh, slice, which will be in the form of uh, e minus x squared. If you cut it diagonally like this, it will still give you the biggest possible slice. But then if you slice it along here, it will give you a, a smaller version. It will give you this. But then, but then, if if you want to know the height of this, what you do? Let, let, let's say you want to know the height at this random place here. What is the height of this? So let's just say at this place here. Okay. What what is the height uh, of of this place here? So what you do? You uh, you look at the r here, the distance from the origin to here is r. To find out the height at this place here, what you do is you you hang on. Remember, you're revolving this. 360. Okay, so so um, so you you you're revolving this 360. So so by the time it gets to here, so so what you do is this the the height at this point the height at this point here is the same as you looking at the height of this point of the biggest possible slice. Remember, if if you if this is your 3D solid here, if you cut it along the x-axis, it will give you. The, the biggest possible slice and it would be in the form of e minus x squared but then if, if you want to find out the height at, at a weird place which is here um you you um well remember you the solid is being revolved around 360 uh so 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 what you do is you look at this point here and this point here is is longer than than at b so uh Han, if if you want to know this height here if you want to know this height here, um, you you can't you can't use you can't use this formula. You, you can't use the equation for this form this slice here. 
Well, so what you what you do is you you, you rotate it around here, and then it, it would be it would be somewhere. Hang on, it would be it would be somewhere beyond the B. So, but but then the good thing is you you get to use this formula here e to the minus x squared. So um so yes yeah, so hang on so so the height the height of this thing here is really you stuffing uh r the the value of r here this r here into this equation. So so you are trying to find out the height at a weird place at this weird place here. But then but then by don't forget this is r then then r would be right here, which is slightly beyond the b. But then, but then, but then, because it lies on on this biggest possible slice here, then you can use this um, this this thing here. So basically, a here, uh, a. So so the height, the hang on, bear with me. So uh, so as you're summing up everything here in the y direction. Uh, the the height as you're moving along in the y direction, the height will always be given by by this. So 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 this the area here is us moving in the y direction, and we're summing up all the heights. So so when you when you read this here, you're moving in the y direction. So you're moving in the y direction, and you're summing up all the heights, and all all the heights are given by by this. Okay. And then, uh, and then, if if you look back at this, hang on. So if you look back at this, so remember we're we're cutting it straight down here, and we want to know the height here. So this here is R. Um, from here to here is B because of this bit here. Okay. So so from here to here is B. So this is B here, and the the height here. Remember we we are moving in the y direction. So we are moving in the y direction here. So uh, so this point here, the, the the height here will be will be y. So so we are moving in the y direction. So the height here will be y. Okay. So so hang on. So our slice is like this. Um, so so remember, we're summing up everything. We're moving in the y direction. So by the time it gets to here, uh, this here, from from here to here, it is y, and then from here to here, it is b. And this here is um, is r. So by using Pythagoras, uh, by using Pythagoras, um, r squared equals b squared plus y squared. So hang on. So uh, so so this is our area here. We're summing up everything, but at the moment it's in terms of r. So uh, so now now we know r squared equals um, well, it's really us using Pythagoras here. Uh, so so r squared equals this thing here. So we we can then put it into here and then uh, and then tidy this up. Uh, that will then take us to here. So um, so what what we're really doing is uh, we are we are trying to work out the uh, the volume of this thing in in slices. So we need to sum up all the all the areas. But then now we have a, a way of expressing. So 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 we need to sum up all the areas. So so by the time it gets to B here, then we. Then we well we we the, the area here will be now now the area here will be us summing up everything in in the y direction. So hang on. So the volume. So this bit here is really saying sum up all the areas here. Okay. So this bit here is saying sum up all the slices here. And this bit here. Hang on. Oops. Bear with me. And then uh, and then this bit here is saying that for each area, uh, you need to sum up everything in in terms of in the y direction. In the y direction here, so uh, so this bit here, hang on, this bit here is saying, uh, this bit here is saying the area is you summing up everything here in the y direction. Okay, so so the volume here is you sum up all the slices. This here is a way of expressing uh, an area for any given value of of x. Okay, so so that. Uh, uh, and then, so so the area here, you tied up the area, and it will it will uh, it will take you to here. So we will continue uh, in the next video uh, from here. Okay.